that you're all safe. It's good to see you again, Stephen. Matthew. What form will it take? When will it come? Jesus said all we have to do is ask. I have been asking. Every day. The Holy Spirit will come when the time is right. I think we should pray together. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we, as we forgive those who trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. feast of Pentecost. It's the last day of the season of Easter and we're commemorating the event that took place 50 days after Easter when the church began because the Holy Spirit was sent by Jesus and came down upon the apostles. And so we can, that's when the church began because the church is people with the Spirit. So we can call it today the birthday of the church. We see that in the Pentecost event that Jesus sends the Spirit upon his apostles who are caught up in that room and hiding away, they haven't got enough courage, they're not sure what to do, but the Holy Spirit is going to change everything for them. And in that locked room, we're told that the Holy Spirit comes in two different forms. He comes, uh, we hear, as a powerful wind. And if you think about the wind, the wind is something that is real, but it's also something that you can't see but you can't see the wind, but you know it's there. And particularly you can see the, the, what the wind does. You can see the effects of blowing things around or, or flapping your clothes in your hair. So you can see the effects of the wind. It's the same with the, with the spirit. You can't actually see the spirit, but you can see what it does, the effect it has on somebody's life. And you see that in the apostles. No longer are they frightened, but they're able to, they're able to, able to go out into the streets no longer are they frightened they're able to go and proclaim about Jesus and then we're told that the spirit is also like like tongues of fire it comes and rests on the head of each of them and we we see that when you think about fire fire is red so we wear red vestments on Pentecost but fire is also 
something that when there is a fire, if there's a fire in a building, everything in the building, after the fire's been put out, has got to be thrown away, starts again. So fire changes everything, and fire also renews. Because after there's been a fire, things are never the same again. Fire renews everything. So we are, we see that the same with the Spirit. The disciples are never the same again. They don't make the same mistakes as they did. So on this Pentecost Sunday, when we're in lockdown, with our churches closed, sadly, we are able to still be church. We should be proud of being church. Let's do something today to mark the fact that we are proud of our faith, that we're struggling to practice it at the moment, but nevertheless, we're proud of this church. And I wish you, finally, a very happy Pentecost. Thank you. Today we hear how Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be with the disciples. The disciples were filled with joy, hope and courage to go out and spread the word of God, God's special message of peace for all people. The Holy Spirit gives the disciples the courage to see what they can do, what Jesus asks of them. Jesus asks us to do the same as the disciples, to spread his message of peace to all people through what we do. The Holy Spirit gives us the courage to answer Jesus' call, to do what God asks of us. Even when it is difficult, we answer each call in a different way, but the Holy Spirit helps and guides us along the way. This week, let's try to notice the Holy Spirit in our lives, helping us be brave and helping us to spread Jesus' message of peace in our world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God of all, you sent your spirit to be with the disciples, filling them with joy, peace and courage. May we also be filled with your spirit to be brave and share your peace in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.